Hello there! In this lesson, we'll be painting this Leonid Avramov inspired painting. So many of you loved our first Leonid Avramov inspired painting we did a few years ago and have sent us many examples of your artworks. We've decided to do another tribute, this time in Leonid's preferred medium, oils. So download the lesson plan and let's get into it. It's a good idea to mark up the rough composition with a pencil before you start painting. Draw in the path and the areas where the main colours will go. Squeeze out some titanium white, lemon yellow, yellow deep, orange yellow, cadmium red, crimson, violet, cerulean blue and prussian blue oil paint onto an easy clean palette. We're going to use mainly palette knives in this painting. This set has five different sizes. Start with your lightest tone. In this case, it's the light blue in the centre of our path. Mix cerulean blue with white and as you move out, add more cerulean blue. From blue, you can move to a light green mixed from cerulean blue and lemon yellow. Just mix your colours very roughly at this stage. Lay down a darker green into the edge of the centre. The idea is to work from the middle outwards, darkening with the next colour on the colour wheel. For example, blue to green, to yellow, to orange, to red, and so on. Our background is done and it looks fairly loose at this stage but that's fine as we're still in the underpainting stage and really just interested in where the shapes of colours sit. We can put in our top coat around any details like the trees here. To start, paint the trees with a mix of crimson and prussian blue. Remember to make the trees smaller as you move to the light blue patch at the end of the path and change up the shape of the trees so they don't look too similar to each other. Lay a large full tree into the middle of the canvas. This will be our focal point. Keep your trees fairly simple and make sure each branch tapers out as it moves towards the end. Making trees smaller as they move into the distance is really effective, but another trick is to lighten them as well. It's easy to do, just charge your brush with less paint as you work. As you paint the tree, the underlying colour will lighten the tone. At a distance, the trees will also be closer together. Rather than using a fine brush, try using a flat brush held on its side. A common theme in Mr Avramov's work is lamp posts. We're going to try and make ours as straight as we can. Paint the central line first, paint the base and then the light surround. Then thicken up the rest of the post. Taper the post as it moves up to that light surround. When you paint in the details like this, you don't need to be particular. You really just need to give the impression of the lamp. Next, start on the path. Lay dark horizontal lines into the ground. We're using the same colour as we applied to the trees. Allow some of the underlying colour to come through. And as you work up the canvas or into the distance, allow the blue to really mix with the dark tone, which will lighten it. Switch to a smaller brush and continue to lighten as you go. The great thing about oil paint is that it stays workable for so long. You just need to be aware that you don't lay too much dark tone into the light areas or you'll lose the illusion of depth. Soften any hard edges and keep the brush moving quickly. In this next stage, we'll use a palette knife to lay in the little dabs of colour over the underpainting and around the trees and other details. 
all of the colours we need are already on the palette. So apply the dabs in blocks across the canvas, then wipe the colour off the palette knife with a tissue and start with the next colour. Continue building up the dabs until you feel enough of the background has been filled. Your dabs of colour can be as sporadic as you like. Just remember to concentrate darker dabs over the darker areas of underpainting and lighter dabs over the lighter areas of your painting. And there we have it. This painting was a lot of fun and we've really loved seeing your Leonid inspired paintings over the years. And we'd love to see how you go with this one too.